A couple of other things I want to draw your attention to is you have analytics and settings in here. Um, inside the analytics area, this is where you have much more detailed reporting about the course progress of your students. Now, I don't have anyone in here because there's a pretend, but when you click on course progress, it will take you to a particular course. You click on the course you want to see people's progress for, and you can see here I'm a test student in this course, but it will actually show you all of your students that have enrolled in this particular course. And it will show you by bar, by the progress bar, and this percentage as to how much that person has completed of that course, which is really cool. It will say, have they started it yet? When they last logged in and how many times they've actually logged into your product as well. So that's really useful um, analytics for you to see. The other analytics that you have in your course settings in analytics, sorry, in your course analytics area is you can view any of your students' assessments if they've submitted assessments to you. You can track your actual members' profiles from here as well. So for instance, let me just move this out of the way. Um, here are all of our different pretend students. You will be able to see Sarah, there's Sarah, she's a student. Um, it will show you here how many things she's purchased. Um, we can actually go and have a little look at her. And you can see here when I click on Sarah, this shows every lesson she's watched, which course, how many lessons of which course she's watched and inside the communities area, what she's been up to. OK, so you can view all of your student progress from there inside your analytics member reporting. And then, of course, you've got your revenue analytics there as well. Now, this is a pretend account, so I haven't sold anything in here. Uh, but again, you can change your dates and view all of your sales based on your revenue and sales here as well.